Hello, wakey, wakey, Nigeria. It's time for your early dose of premium family entertainment. Why am I hearing the sound of Halima in my ear? What? what? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> wakey, type. wakey? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Being a scriptwriter, she has everything on point every yeah, single yeah. morning for us. And I have to say, it's the number one <laughs> breakfast show on TV. So she's doing a great job. Yes, indeed. And I hope you've had a great weekend. It's Monday, mm. and uh, we know that you start, you know, like starting your week uh, by sticking with us. Yeah. So things are going to be, yeah, nice today, hopefully. So uh, it's going to be like this every single day th this week, you know. And talking about great things that are going to be happening, we have a full show packed just for you. It's going to be quite exciting to see how it all rolls out. My dynamite quote for this morning is, uh, <clears throat> push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Yeah, that's sufficient yeah. motivation for this morning, man. Yeah. yeah. You, you need to if push you have something up. to do, get it done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. No waiting. Yeah, wake up and let's do this. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic day. My name is Yomi Ope. And I'm Titi Laya Oinso. It's great to see you, great to be here with you. Make sure you stream us live at tvcentertainment.tv and of course on Facebook at TVC Connect. Mm. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria to uh, send us comments across our social media platforms. Please uh, do. Wake Up Nigeria on TVC is the hashtag. Our app is available for download. Just remember to go to either Android or iOS store. Download the app and of course your mobile devices will have us right there. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get you up to speed to what's going to be happening uh, today on the show. Yeah. Tech is one of the big things uh, happening today. Uh, let's find out uh, man's advancements on the moon and every other thing that's going <laughs> on in the world of tech. Then for our first musical performance, we have singer-songwriter O.J. Brace. Right after that, we have a second musical performance. This time, from singer and songwriter Rhonda. <laughs> Man must blow, ladies and gentlemen. And on SME today. We have Ani Chukwebuka, uh, the CEO of Great Aluminum Systems Limited, to share with us uh, some of his successes. Then on the auto segment, we have Ayo Shofela, and uh, she's going to be talking to us about different grades of engine oil and the right recommendation for your vehicle. For spoken word performance, we have actor poet uh, Akimboro Olateju. Uh, he's going to be uh, joining us this morning. And for the right motivation to help you kickstart the week, stick around as Tunji Babajide talks Decision Determines Destiny. All right. All righty then. Decision Good determines destiny. Really, really, mm. really, really, really nice. Yeah, really there's nice. some decisions that you make uh, some, sometime, you know, some periods in your life that in the end just change the whole trajectory. Mm. Mm. Of your life. They, they say, you know, especially if you find the right person uh, to marry, that is, mm. uh, it might just completely either misdirect you or <laughs> redirect you very true yeah. very true i mean and, and it's mm. the same for for bo both um, male both sides. and female yeah yeah you know if if a woman marries the right guy mm. then hopefully it'll yeah. help you along to to mm. achieve your dreams even though some women's dream is just to what? enjoy life and wow. chill <laughs> really <laughs> i'm not, just saying not but, in every case though, yeah you know? and then some men who have um, big dreams, mm. but not enough motivation. Mm. If they marry the right kind of woman, yeah. and you know, that can motivate them and say, you could do it, you know, then you just keep they, pushing can, the they guy. can do big things because you know, yeah. having dreams and having the motivation to achieve them are two different things. They actually, I heard a story about a couple where the guy wanted to run for uh, governor. Uh, this is of course not in Nigeria, yeah. but he, he kept getting negative feedback on all his decisions mm -hmm. from his partner. And eventually he never ran. And um, 
when they eventually split up, he decided to go back and mm. run and had a partner who was willing to drive him. Mm -hmm. And in the end, he didn't only become governor. He went on to, you know, further his aspirations. So yeah. uh, I'm just, it's just, it's just very true very for true. you to think about it. Even, even some women I've seen, I've seen where um, maybe a woman splits up with, yeah. with uh, maybe Particular comes out of a bad relationship mm -hmm. or, or a bad marriage and something like that. And then suddenly she does yeah. um, blossoms. What's the word? That's the word, blossoms. Exactly. And then, you know, everything that, all her potentials come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes being, being in the wrong decision, um, wrong marriage, mm -hmm. wrong place, mm -hmm. wrong time, all those kind of things, it's, it's really, really key. But a lot of young people don't understand that. They just want to... Yeah, yeah, of course. But my, 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 uh, my next point would then be about your circle. So there's this, there are all these quotes that come out online about your circle, about how if your circle of friends are not driving you, if mm. they're not inspiring you or they're not challenging you, or there's nobody in that circle that makes you want to be better, then it's about time to change your circle. <laughs> so what exactly do your circle of friends do? Do they just really important. hang yeah. out, play video games, you know, all day? Without thinking about how to make a video game, uh, I, I think I think yeah. you know, at the end of the day, it really <laughs> comes down to uh, be motivated yourself. Mm. You no, know, understanding what what dreams you have as a person, yeah. and going after those dreams, regardless of what anybody says. Yeah, you know, true. Because you know, at the end of the day, you only have yourself to blame. You can't blame your husband or your wife or your parents or the school you went to mm. for mm. not. For not, uh, I feel like there's someone at home right now that just needed to hear this. Exactly. Someone that just made us go into motivation mode this morning. Maybe someone that's been, you know, maybe making you feel a little less important. You've been blocking your destiny. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Yeah, well, we just... <laughs> yeah, so change your circle, change Actually, your mindset. Actually, nobody can block your destiny. It's just, you huh. know. Don't say that, though. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Yeah. We, but, well, hey... Uh, we're gonna go to the news update now and yeah. <laughs> Right, it's nice to see you. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the news. We begin from Abuja with the cherry news from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, which says 22 suspected cases of coronavirus identified in Edo, Lagos, Ogun, Kano State, and Abuja have tested negative. This is according to a tweet from the verified handle of the control center. The director general of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Chike Ihe Kwazu, said a total of 219 contacts were identified, including those from hotel, workplace and healthcare workers. He said there is no new confirmed case of the virus. Dr. Ihe Kwazu uh, stated that field investigations are ongoing and all contacts are contact uh, undergoing daily symptom monitoring. The director general insists the first confirmed case is in stable condition. Meanwhile, Egypt has confirmed its first death from the coronavirus in the country after a German citizen died on Sunday. Cairo had previously announced that coronavirus had been detected in 33 people on a tourist ship in the country's south, including three Egyptian nationals. The global death toll is nearly 3,500 and over 100,000 confirmed cases, according to the World Health Organization. Italy has recorded the most deaths of any country outside China and the second most COVID-19 infections in the world. The majority of the deaths were in the Lombardy region in northern Italy, according to the Civil Protection Agency. In Quara states, women believe that the challenges confronting women folk are the responsibilities of all to be solved. The wife of the Quara state governor, Mrs. Olufolake uh, Olu Abdurazak, stated this at a public lecture to mark the day. She added that social ills against women like raping, wife battery and others should be condemned by all. To empower our women on all fronts and to celebrate those who are working tirelessly to ensure that our women realize their full potential. The need to intensify on this momentum now is even more pertinent as World Economic Forum, WEF, Gender Gap Report for 2020, reveals that gender parity may not be attained for the next 99.5 years. 
And the nation also joined the rest of the world to celebrate the International Women's Day. Organized labor spearheaded an advocacy for government's ratification and domestication of the International Labor Organization's convention, one night zero. The emphasis was on synergy among all critical actors in ensuring the violence and harassment in the workplace is eliminated. TV News correspondent Jokadisa reports. Physical and emotional abuse, assault, intimidation and threats are some of the common tools of harassment and violence in the workplace. At its centenary celebration in June 2019, the International Labour Organization adopted Convention 190, which deals basically with ending violence and harassment in the workplace. Nine months after its adoption, this year's International Women's Day provided the opportunity for the women's wing of the Nigeria Labour Congress to rally support for its ratification and domestication in Nigeria. Speakers say the buy-in of the Nigerian government will hasten the convention's ratification. Engagement of government seriously on this issue. I don't know to what extent that has happened, but it is very, very important. You saw some workers, they were flogging them before they came late, because they came late to work. To the work, to work. And the man was loudly flogging them. It's an abuse of rights because it's not within the context of the terms of employment. The NLC and other key players believe sensitization is key to getting the convention work. We we'll have our job cut out for us. Uh, right now, the buzzword is about casualization, it's about the ills people are going through. In spite of all the laws that we have seen and whether domesticated or whether used or not, we still suffer violence. And so this document is very, very important for us, especially when we are talking about decent work. The Nigerian Labor Congress, Women Commission, needs to take it, not just Women Commission, but with the, 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 the President of Congress, to take it to the relevant ministries. All here are hoping that in another 12 months, Nigeria will have been able to make a mark by becoming the second country after Uruguay to ratify the convention. ILO Convention 190 recognizes the right of everyone to a world of work free from harassment and violence, including gender-based violence and harassment. The challenge now is for the Nigeria Labour Congress and all the stakeholders to rally support to ensuring that it is ratified in Nigeria. TVC News, Abuja. And Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Samwalu, has visited President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja. The visit comes nine days after Lagos recorded its first case of coronavirus involving an Italian who returned from Milan on 25th of February. The governor briefed President Buhari on efforts made by his administration to prevent an outbreak in the state. According to the Commissioner of Health in Lagos, Akiam Bayomi, the government is yet to get the total number of those who had come in contact with the Italian patient as the figures are still being collated. Nigeria's debt profile continues to be a source of concern to economic watches, including international bodies such as the World Bank. But this has not deterred the federal government from borrowing more funds. Nigeria's debt has now hit 33.078 trillion naira after the Senate approved an additional loan request from the president to the tune of $22.7 billion. The International Monetary Fund and the World Bank are warning that Nigeria may be falling into a debt trap. And that's it on the news update for this hour. It's time to let you know what the weather will look like today. And after that, it's sports. Today is Monday, March 9th, and uh, we're starting with the Vanguard mm. this morning.
I have the Vanguard newspaper in my hands now. It says, uh, APC crisis latest. Emo Oshun governor's South-South leaders rally for Oshomole. Tackle anti-Oshomole colleagues uh, set to meet Buhari, uh, Kano, Katsina, Kogi, Kwara, Lagos, Nasarawa, uh, Ogun. Uh, Yobe governor's back Oshomole. And uh, his adversaries plotting to weaken party ahead of 2023, according to ETA, that's vice chair. Uh, it also says here, uh, NCC deactivates 2.2 million improperly registered SIM cards. Uh, it also says, uh, Faroshe Ulujimi in verbal war over AKT PDP ward congresses. On COVID-19, 23 suspected cases identified in five states. Yep, I think the 14 days mm. is over. Uh, and it also says here, banks lose 725 billion naira deposits to low interest rates. Federal government writes, Serap demands list of ex-governors, ministers collecting life pensions. Christian elders sad over retention of service chiefs. And 400,000 may go as TRCN begins nationwide screening of teachers today. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. All right, let's look at the Nigerian Tribune uh, this morning. Uh, lots of stories here. Coronavirus, 16 million people quarantined in Italy. Uh, attendee of conference with Trump tests positive. A Nigerian contracts virus in U.S. Egypt records first death. ILO governing body suspends meeting in Geneva. And Buhari condoles with Iran, Italy, and South Korea. A few other stories at the bottom here. Uh, economy in further strain as Saudi Arabia declares oil price war. Oil plunges to $42.27 per barrel. It's gone even lower this morning. And analysts forecast prices may fall to $20 a barrel. Uh, that's not good news for Nigeria, but uh, let's uh, hope for the best. Up here, NCC deactivates 2.2 million SIM cards. Nigerians face 10-day blackout as Genco's battle gas shortage. An APC crisis. My notice of NEC meeting legitimate acting national secretary. Flaws in Nigeria's federalism causing problems, says Fayemi. And Nasara United player Chinime Martins dies while playing. Wow. Uh, then uh, photo stories here. Why you uh, smashed my vehicle, uh, emo governor. Yeah, and that story is on page two. And you would find a picture of the vehicle that was smashed uh, just yesterday in emo state. And also uh, from the sports report we just watched, Nigeria's Israel Adesanya making his victory speech after defeating Cuba's Yoel Romero in Las Vegas during the UFC middleweight title fight on Sunday. That's what we have on the cover of the Nigerian Tribune. I also have the Nation newspaper here. It says, APC crisis, governors take Oshomole's case to Villa. Ganduje, others rally support as Kogi Gombe, Yobe governors join anti-chairman's group NWC to sanction official for calling NEC meeting. Policemen to remain at Secretariat. Right at the bottom there, it says uh, Nigerians shun POS transactions over charges. Volume drops by 4.83 billion in one month. Three held for removing human skull from cemetery. And uh, it also says at the top here, or Shimbajo, an asset, says Buhari, VP gets plaudits at 63. Nigerian in U.S. test positive for COVID-19. NCDC say no new case. And NCC deactivates 2.2 million SIM cards, moves to boost security. That's what we have on the cover of the nation. Yeah. And finally, we have this day uh, with the headline, coronavirus crashes oil price to $30, halves Nigeria's revenue projection. Wow. A Nigerian tests positive to coronavirus in the U.S. And NCDC moves to test suspected cases. Now, on the corner here, Ihedioha breaks silence, says God will render ultimate judgment. And port congestion, NPM moves to take over APM operations. Rights Company's headquarters in The Hague, 30-day ultimatum expires this week. 
and NCC deactivates additional 2.2 million SIM cards for improper registration. And over here, Buhari consults stakeholders, decides on proposed APC NEC meeting today. South South leaders back embattled Oshomole. And it says here, President Muhammad Buhari will today make a final decision on the meeting of the National Executive Committee of the APC scheduled for Tuesday. And uh, you can read that uh, details of that story on uh, front page and also on page 12. And then finally on the cover of this day, we have a photo story. 63 hearty chairs for the vice president. And uh, there's a photograph there of the vice president, Yemi Oshibajo, left receiving a birthday card from policemen attached to his office yesterday. Mm. So on that hearty note and mm -hmm. uh, trying yeah. to forget... Uh, uh, yeah, what's happening? I just uh, yeah. I wanted to just mention this COVID nineteen issue. You know, Italy on lockdown. Yeah, sixteen um, million people um, yeah. can't move around because mm -hmm. you know they, they they're trying doing their best to contain the virus and forestall more deaths. Even as at Friday in the U S, uh, a lot of in Washington there were some schools that were closed mm -hmm. uh, just to try and prevent you know this this thing from moving around yeah and yeah. uh yeah it's so. it, 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 i think it's good news that nigeria hasn't recorded any more cases mm. um well and hopefully hopefully uh it, that'll that'll continue to be the case for us yeah, yeah. Uh, it was well, definitely yeah. going to take a, a while before we knew who and who were infected anyway mm. uh, because of the 14 day timeline uh but well we're hoping for the best praying for the best stay safe out there everyone Get your hands washed, everyone, please. <laughs> Very important. And uh, well, hey, we're gonna be taking a quick break. We'll be having the traffic update in a bit. Thank you for staying tuned. It is time for Lagos Traffic Updates on Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, as usual, we'll give you tips on the best routes for you this morning to get to your destination faster. Now, as always, we encourage that you help other road users by dropping relevant traffic situation reports on all our social media pages using the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this morning, um, I'm going to be starting off from Iliokbo bus stop. That's on the Lagos Abeokuta Expressway. And uh, from there to Mushin bus stop, what the situation is like this morning. Uh, that's what I'm going to tell you now. Okay, so from what I can see, it will take you about um, one hour, 17 minutes if you're driving uh, to get to Mushin bus stop from Iliokbo bus stop, which means that if you're taking a bus, you want to make a provision for about 30 minutes or maybe even an hour extra, okay, because of loading, dropping of passengers and all. Uh, so uh, an hour, 17 minutes, you ought to get to your destination. If you're on a bike, it will take you about uh, an hour. Uh, of course, you know, there aren't no bikes on that uh, expressway, except you're driving a power back, which, of course, uh, will make it take you even lesser. Uh, a train ride, 15 minutes plus. Uh, if you're walking, which is absolutely impossible, I believe, it will take you three hours, 38 minutes to get to Mushin bus stop this morning. So now what's, uh, what area do we look at? Uh, we see Yanokpaja. Approaching Yanokpaja, there's a gridlock there, so you want to look out for that one. Dokwemu as well, uh, approaching the bridge, uh, just after the bridge, there's a gridlock. Uh, so m most of these areas are freeway. Those are just the areas with gridlock. Uh, as soon as you get to cement bus stop, prepare your mind. There is a gridlock that will take you through Idimangoro all the way uh, to Ikeja on that bridge. So it's a very, very long gridlock this morning. The bumper to fender is pretty mean and I hope you're ready for it. Uh, as it is, uh, the traffic will not ease up until you're just past corn oil bus stop. Uh, that's a national bus stop. So. Uh, prepare your mind for that. The traffic eases out. It's mostly a freeway until you're close to the arena at Oshodi bus stop. So that's where uh, you would experience another gridlock. But besides that, just pockets of traf light traffic and freeway until you get to Mushin bus stop. I'm going to take a look at another access, uh, but while trying to get that ready for you, I'm sure your me and Titi have a couple of updates for me. Mm. 
Just, uh, I have one or two here, uh, but I don't know if TT would have some as well. Uh, Traffic Butter is reporting uh, a few, a few, uh, <coughs> a few locations uh, yeah. this morning, talking about Aja Bridge, uh, a Traffic Butter. So the traffic is started from Aja Bridge, so just going up the bridge, and there's already some <laughs> gridlock there. Uh, if you're on your way to Victoria Island or Lekki Phase One this morning, so it's it's pretty it's pretty tough uh, in that area. Mm. Also, uh, Ikorodu Road. Okay. Ikoroduro this morning, not looking too pretty, uh, but yeah, that's uh, those are the two updates I have here. I don't know if you have any. I have one that says there's traffic from Magi Magidun, uh, Magidun, yeah. uh, Magidun from uh, Ikorodu to the island, hmm. and no break in between. Wow. That's that's what it says here. No break in between. Uh, bumper to bumper, it says. Mm. Same traffic butter. That was about from uh, 15 minutes ago. Hopefully, it's eased off now. Mm. Yeah. But uh, there are a lot of complaints. You yeah, know? lots of people complaining. <laughs> complaining. About okay, you know, guys, we'll complaints. take a look at the complaints. Let me just yeah. quickly um, chip this in. Uh, as it is, uh, motorway centre to Obali Indian on that bridge this morning is a journey that will take an hour 40 minutes if you're driving. So if you're on a bus, you want to prepare your mind for two hours, 15 minutes plus. Uh, an hour, nine minutes, uh, say an hour if you're on a power bike. Uh, 33 minutes via train. Though I'm not quite sure there's any train passing that area. <laughs> and it will take you a day if you decide to walk. Well, <laughs> on a more serious note, still. Uh, the traffic really is bad this morning. I, I, I'm really sorry to report this. All the way from toll gate, all the way from toll gate, the traffic goes on to your past Ogudu. Like, it's bumper to fender, gridlock. There is no light traffic at any point. There is no freeway. It's a gridlock to your past Ogudu. Now, as soon as you're past Ogudu, there's a deceptive freeway. Mm? So it seems like, oh, my goodness, thank, the, the traffic is over. But it's very deceptive because uh, it will continue that way until you're about to get on the third mainland bridge. Pockets of light traffic here and there, nothing <laughs> scary. But as soon as you get on the third mainland bridge, Brov is going to take you all the way to Obalende, gridlock assured. So if you haven't set out now, you're absolutely late to work already. Just prepare your mind. And if you're on the road, uh, I hope you carried your breakfast because you might not have time to eat it anymore when you get to the office. Mm. Really sorry to report that. But yeah, <laughs> the traffic situation really is that bad this morning. Mm. Uh, whatever the case may be, though, uh, I need you to be at alert. Drive carefully. Have consideration for other road users. And I like to say this, when you're driving, drive for the second person. Because mm -hmm. hmm, when you think the next person has you in mind, they might not. Too. They don't even have themselves in mind sometimes. I'll be joining the guys in the kitchen. I'm sure we have yeah. one or two things to share with you this morning. Mm. Yeah. So, so quite, a bit, quite a bit happening uh, yeah. uh, around the world and, uh, of course, over the weekend. The, the main, one of the main things was uh, look, there's two things. Yeah. Uh, the coronavirus mm. thing that has been on and then uh, International Women's Day, which was also, I think this, to me, this has been the biggest International Women's Day ever. Yeah. Mm. Uh, helped, aided on by, by social media. Mm. Um, so everybody was doing the, yeah. the thing. That, the, yeah, the I, I thought was it was. I, I thought it was cool. I mean, all yeah. of social media yesterday, there was people that mm. knew what it was, what it meant. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we were just doing it. You know, everybody was talking That's about it. That's actually why I didn't post it because I was like, people yeah. will just think I'm following a yeah. train. So, yeah, so yeah. But it's, it's been the biggest so far. Mm -hmm. uh, there were several trends um, regarding International Women's Day, yeah. uh, each for equal, each for equal. Uh, I am generation equality, uh, just mm. you know, all yeah. sorts of things, you know. So, so it's, 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 it's interesting that yeah. people are jumping on it now. So I, I got one of those alerts from Instagram uh, on what you posted four years ago. Yeah. And I started posting, you know, things about International Women's Day four years ago. And I, mm. people used to be like, so what was this? I probably would get like two likes yeah. on the post. You know, that kind of, but then mm -hmm. this, this year, I think maybe uh, it was targeted uh, at particular organizations, yeah. uh, banks, once banks jumped on it, yeah. I got at least 20 emails mm -hmm. from different people, uh, different organizations uh, talking about International Women's Day with so many thoughts yeah. behind what it should be like for women yeah. in today's, uh, in today's, in the workplace today, uh, in society today. So um, I think it's good. It's also a way of um, 
encouraging young girls uh, to to reach for for the heights. And yeah. so it's not bad, not too shabby. So, so you guys tried this wow. year. You guys, wow. You guys you tried. Know. You're me. Women in journalism, really? Really? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's always been an advocate for what he's, uh, he's pushing it. I have. But yeah. Mary, what, what I, I, you know, you're, whenever Mary is quiet like that, I'm like, she's musing, she's, she's marinating <laughs> what she's about to say. International Women's Day for, for women in media, yeah. let's put it that way, um, is, is, it can never be overemphasized because there's just always that glass ceiling you're trying mm. to break through yeah. and it hardly ever happens. I, 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 I tell people a lot, when I was on the radio, I was looking for the opportunity to get promoted so many times. Mm. There was always some excuse. Every other year, the, mm. like five years, six years. In the end, <laughs> I was there eight years. I wasn't promoted, you yeah. know. Um, and it was it was really, really a lot of pressure for me. But I kept pushing at it, and then you know, hey. Eventually, it happened. Mm -hmm. I think one of the major challenges uh, I've been running women journalism now for almost seven years mm -hmm. is that a lot of publishers, a lot of media owners always say that women had come with a set of challenges. Mm. So you, you hire a woman, she's 25, she's single. Mm. And then two years later, she comes to you and tells you she's getting married. Okay. So you know that, ah, you know. Wow, so really? That, that, Does it have to no, be no, that, though? That, that, that's what, that that's, gesture is that's very... That's what media owners say. So wow. after a while, she gets pregnant, she wants to have her first child. Mm -hmm. And so media owners start being careful because, you, mm -hmm. again, they say that they don't want to send a pregnant woman on an assignment, maybe to okay. Ekiti or Cross River, <laughs> she's driving on, going on a long, long Brooke, journey yeah. uh, to your base state and things like that. Now, a lot of these women want to go. Mm. I mean, forget, like, like a woman is saying to you that, look, that I'm pregnant doesn't mean I'm sick. Mm. Just let me go on the assignment, let me go and do it. But, mm. you know, mm. especially male bosses, they don't feel like, ah, okay, mm. I don't want to be in trouble with this yeah. woman's husband or her family <laughs> if okay. anything happens to her. Yeah. So they keep her on the desk. And keeping you on the desk, especially if you're a reporter or a correspondent or anything like that, mm reduces your potential, which eventually, when it then comes to time for promotion, mm. you're thinking, yeah. she, didn't, she didn't perform that much, so why should you be promoted? But really then you never gave her the mm, opportunity. It, it, if, if, if someone des deserves promotion, the mm. person deserves promotion, mm. these are excuses that male bosses have used over the years. Mm. You see women working double efforts, yeah. trying to prove themselves. You do everything possible, and at the end of the day, when that guy who is doing half of what you're doing because you as a woman feel the need to mm. prove yourself, mm. comes forward to get promotion with you, you're told that, and you know you're a woman. You don't have so yeah. many responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You know you're a woman. You cannot supersede a man. You know you're, and you hear so many what, ridiculous things. Do they say things, things like that? Yes. yes. Women I heard, hear it. I heard things like, hey, you know you're on the mainland. How will you pick your kids if you are head of department? I heard things like that. Wow. Like, I heard, so, I heard crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, you, you mm -hmm. hear a lot of things that will make you be like, oh, really now? Mm -hmm. So you see a situation, and, and this has nothing to even do with women in media alone. Mm -hmm. It happens everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, in most cases, some companies are, make provisions for females. Mm -hmm. And the sad part is, in many cases as well, female bosses are less understanding. Mm -hmm. So you're talking of um, a, a male boss that is like he doesn't want Wala, keeps the woman at her desk. But a female boss that even sees a woman struggling will be like, am I the one who got you pregnant? Yeah. Did I tell you to go and get pregnant? But you so see, crazy. in yeah. some cases, male bosses are even yeah. kind of more understanding. So I've seen, I've seen female bosses, and this is true, that maybe they're, they're GMs in a bank mm -hmm. and, or executive directors or really, really senior. They're not married. They don't have kids. And so I've heard, and I don't know if it's true, <laughs> that when the, when the female boss is not married mm -hmm. and she's like at the top of her career, yeah. she doesn't have any patience for married women. married women that yeah. have two, oh. three children. So when you come yeah. and you say, it's, it's not I have to do school run, my yeah. daughter is sick, yeah. like she, no, she can't like, relate to what you're saying. It's so also just, the same yeah. for single or unmarried male bosses. Mm. Sometimes when you don't have certain things to your credits, it's hard to understand people yeah. who are in that position. So, so, they, so they just, yeah, so they just yeah. let you go and then they come and deal with you at the end of Later, the year. Later, which is when, ridiculous. <laughs> when it's, it's time for KPI or it's whatever. It's time for KPIs uh, and, uh, we'll you know, talk more and about stuff this. Like we that. have to. Later. There's so much to talk yes. about. But uh, for those of you who are wondering, we're going to be taking a quick break, but we'll be back with more.
All right, it's time for tech updates on Wake Up Nigeria. And uh, we have uh, a number of uh, things to share with you. Let's begin with Apple rejecting coronavirus apps to limit virus misinformation. Now, Apple and Google are taking measures to prevent the spread of coronavirus misinformation from apps. According to reports, uh, Apple for one is rejecting all coronavirus related mobile apps that aren't government or official health organizations approved. Uh, Google Play, meanwhile, is uh, blocking all searches for coronavirus, though it's not clear if it's completely blocking app approvals as well. Uh, Apple is manually evaluating apps, looking at both who the developers are and where they got their data from. And this, of course, is uh, just so that people don't get uh, false information about the coronavirus. It's a pandemic. It's one that is worrisome, so it's not surprising that uh, there's uh, kind of like a curb to fake news to avoid people getting scared. It's bad enough to Google something and get information that will make you just decide to end it before the virus gets you. Okay, so moving on now. Uh, interesting information. We've been talking about this for a few years. Uh, talking about SpaceX. Yes, SpaceX will fly space tourists to uh, the ISS as soon as next year. Yeah, 2021. Now, Houston-based uh, private space company Axiom has forged a partnership with SpaceX to fly paying tourists to the ISS as soon as the second half of 2021 under the terms of their deal. Uh, SpaceX will use the Crew Dragon capsule to ferry three tourists and an Axiom staff member who will make sure they don't interfere with the NASA crew members doing their job to the orbiting lab. Elon Musk's company originally developed the capsule uh, to take astronauts to space from US soil, and its first manned flight with NASA astronauts is expected to take place between April and June this year. This is fantastic stuff. Uh, you recall uh, a couple of years ago, talk about if you want to relocate uh, to Mars, you want to stay in, uh, uh, you know, on Mars forever and ever. Uh, I know that one is still in the works, but hey, getting to visit space, see what's going on there, and you're not even an astronaut. Now that's what I call fantastic. All right, moving on to more. Uh, I've got this one from Twitter. And uh, the app says it will delete hate speech related to age, disability, and disease. Now, last year, Twitter updated its harmful conduct policy to require the detention of hate speech based on religion. Now, the company is updating its rules to include language. Uh, according to the company, uh, the language that dehumanizes other people based on age, disability or disease. As before, the company will not ban or suspend people who wrote offending tweets before the update. However, it will delete any past tweets if users report to them. The decision is part of an ongoing effort by the company to better protect its users and is just about time as well. It's unfortunate that some people get uh, uh, you know, we so would we'll say trigger happy for guns. We'll say uh, typing happy for those on Twitter or social media. You don't have a right to insult anybody. You, you really don't. And it's very disrespectful to do that. So it is uh, very impressive that Twitter is doing this. Hopefully, uh, Instagram, Facebook, other social media apps begin to do this as well. Instant uh, deleting, get punished for it so people can be more careful what they post and share on social media. I'm particularly excited about going to space though. I'm pretty sure it will cost a tidy sum, but whether or not it does, uh, it's something interesting to look forward to. Uh, for those looking for stuff to add to their bucket list, hey, going to space my bit. Okay, uh, we're moving on straight to our very first performance for today. And I know for sure that Titi is on standby. Yes, I am. I'm going to be on that list of people going to space, by the way. <laughs> yes, Elon Musk and I, we have a, you know, a conversation. That would be fantastic. Good Just for saying. you then. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. The show is never complete without music. Our first musical performance for today. In fact, for the week is singer and songwriter OJ Brace. Welcome to the studio. Welcome. 
Yeah. Are you awake? Are you here? Are you yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. You're here. Yeah. You're with me? Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. OJ Brace is an Afro pop artist. But I know that today's song is a bit different. What's the name of the song today? Ego B. Ego B. Yeah. Okay, so what, what does that mean? Where are we going with this song? It means... It, Use the mic, darling. It means Ego B is going to happen. You understand? Happen. Yeah, I just believe. Mm -hmm. So this is more inspirational for... Yeah, something. I just wanted to do something... That comes with some sort of motivation, inspiration. Okay. So that was how it came about, Ego B. All right. So you wrote the song? Yeah, sure. So who produced it? F Phenomena. Okay. Yes. So did it take long to produce this song? No, no, no. no. Just the flowing? song was a freestyle. Freestyle? Yes, it was freestyle. For real? Like I said, I, I made songs already for that I wanted to promote. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me just do mm. something different from what I've been doing. Okay. So, and that was Ego B. So what you've been doing, how long have you been doing it? From from school days. School days. Yeah. Was it you and your guys all coming together? Yeah, to yeah, normal, normal. Normal yeah. my guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know, there are a lot of guys that say I was one chick that made them start writing songs. Was that like? No, that for no, you? no. Man. I just love singing. I just sing everything. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, sure. You weren't trying to just attract all the ladies in your class and no, all. No, 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 no. You sure? Yeah, I just want to sing. All right, all right. He wants to sing, people. He wants to write songs and sing. And the name of the track is. Ego B is about to take it away. OJ Brace, people. But I stood it, thank you. So I know they fall for God. See, I know they fall for them, Papa. I go the day by day. Uh, Mondays are uh, for setting the week in good motion. And uh, that's what we're doing right now, starting your week yeah. in a bright way. Eagle B, Eagle B, Eagle B. I just knew you were going to do it. I if, thought you were going to do it, but hey. You know, but that yeah. song earlier, you know, it's just, it just gives you hope, you know. $30 a barrel, Eagle B, Eagle B. You know what? It's the opportunity yeah. to ensure that whatever your plans are for this week, Hopefully you achieve them with precision. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, it's really, really important that, you know, when you're thinking about what to do, you go out with the right kind of mentality yeah. and being a champion uh, <laughs> and everything will work out as you have planned. Just, yeah. you know, keep pushing. Go out there and yeah. yeah. Second hour for Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Titi Lyle. And I'm Yomi Ope. Remember to send your comments across all our social media platforms. We'd like to hear from you. Uh, make sure you use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Stream with us live. That's at tvcentertainment.tv and of course on Facebook live at TVC Connect. Mm. Download our app uh, both on the Android and iOS stores. Uh, this app lets you watch us anywhere you are in the world. Yes, indeed. We have a chef in the building, Chef Yetunde. Yetunde. Mm. Yes, yes, so yes, uh, she's making her debut and we're really excited. There's going to be some baking going on Ooh, in the kitchen. It's been morning. a long time. It's yeah, been a so long it's time. perfect breakfast. Baking. Mm. Mm. Very nice, very nice, very Not nice. Not baking like B A C O N, but baking like you know. Yeah. You I, I like I like it when chefs dress up properly. Yes, uh, uh, she looks really put together. I'm just saying. Thank you. Yeah. We should have done the coronavirus, <laughs> but it's okay. okay. Chef White. Yeah. Make you feel like the food is gonna be extra. Exactly, sweet. exactly. exactly. Uh, we yeah, haven't yeah. even finished setting up. Why are you showing the? Yeah. <laughs> Let's you see you guys. Eh, just keep your fingers crossed. What we have planned for you today, eh? it will blow your mind. Well, and thank you very much. Well. Thank you very much, uh, Mary. Chef Yetunde mm. in the building. And, uh, well, hey, we're going to be finding out quite a bit about what she's going to be doing later on. Yes, indeed. Something else we're going to find so out. That is our second musical performance, uh, this time from singer, songwriter, Runda. <laughs> Cause my mom's blow 
on SME today, we have Annie Chukwebuka of the CEO of Great Anamilium uh, System Limited. That's a tongue twister. Twister there, right? Mm. Aluminium. <laughs> Aluminium. Yes, got it. And uh, he's going to be sharing his success story with us, and we can't wait to hear it. And on our the auto segment, we have Ayosha Fella of Auto, auto uh, Medics, right? Automatics. Yeah. Automatics. 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 And yeah. she's going to be joining us uh, this morning uh, to show, show us the different grades of engine oil and the right recommendation for your vehicle. I actually never know which one to buy, though. I think I need to talk to her on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Different types of engine oil. And on spoken word, we have an actor and poet, Akimboro Lateju, popularly known as Jue. Uh, now, it's going to be great to hear what he has to say today. Mm. I think that's Jew. I think. <laughs> <laughs> For our money motivation this morning, we, uh, uh, we have Tunji Babajide, who's back with us to talk about the decision determines destiny. Decisions determine destiny. Mm -hmm. Yes, so decision determines destiny. Uh, we went all motivational in our first talk. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. We're talking we went about deep. It. I don't know how that happened. It just started from. <laughs> Look, the, the truth is, when people wake up in the morning, especially on a Sunday morning, uh, sorry, on a Monday morning, it's people get in that mood of you're sort of taking stock very quickly of maybe your life in the past week or in the past month and things like that. And so you become reflective, yeah. sometimes wistful, mm -hmm. you know, if maybe things aren't going the way you planned and things yeah. like that. So sometimes that little push, you know, is Especially what you need. if your account balance is not looking as green <laughs> as it should be at which that is, point. Yeah, which is also why, you know, people have all these daily devotionals and yeah. things like that. Because once you wake up, you need something to pick you up mm -hmm. uh, from your spirit. I you know, know of someone who has these post-it notes, you know, these yellow post-it notes with motivational uh, quotes all over his bathroom mirror, uh, all over the wall in his bedroom. He just has, so as he's walking, he's just seeing another just, quote. As he's, as he's brushing his teeth, he's just reading another one. And I was just like, does it really work though? Yeah. You know, does it actually get, does it actually create in you that feeling of wanting to do mm. better and be better? For some people it might work, for some yeah. people, might mm -hmm. not. The most important thing is to know what works for you. Everyone has their individual motivation. Quotes don't work for some people. Mm. It might be family. Yeah. A call from mom, a call from dad, or maybe a hug from um, their spouse or their yeah. children mm -hmm. or someone uh, special to them. Mm. Uh, so at the end of the day, just know what works for you. Everyone has to earn a living. We need to work. Uh, so there's nothing we can do about it. Even if you don't even want to have time to yeah. you reflect, Lagos traffic. <laughs> we'll make we'll you think you about your life. <laughs> we have to take the news now, and Ibrahim is on standby. Now, welcome to the news again. We'll begin with this cherry news from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, which says 22 suspected cases of coronavirus identified in Edo, Lagos, Ogun, Kano State, and Abuja have tested negative. This is according to a tweet from the verified handle of the control center. The director general of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Chikwe Ikwazu, Ikwazu, said a total of 219 contacts were identified, including those from hotel, workplace, and healthcare workers. He said there is no new confirmed case of the virus. Dr. Ikwazu stated that field investigations are ongoing and all contacts are undergoing daily symptom monitoring. The director general insists the first confirmed case is in stable condition. Meanwhile, Egypt has confirmed its first death from the coronavirus in the country after a German citizen died on Sunday. Cairo had previously announced that coronavirus had been detected in 33 people on a tourist ship in the country's south, including three Egyptian nationals. The global death toll is nearly 3,500 and over 100,000 confirmed cases that's according to the World Health Organization. Italy has recorded the most death of any country outside China and the second most COVID-19 infections in the world. The majority of the deaths were in the Lombardy region in northern Italy. Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwalu, has visited President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja. The visit comes nine days after Lagos recorded its first case of coronavirus involving an Italian who returned from Milan on 25th of February. 
The governor briefed President Buhari on efforts made by his administration to prevent an outbreak in the state. According to the Commissioner of Health in Lagos, Akin Biomi, the government is yet to get the total number of those who had come in contact with the Italian patient as the figures are still being collated. Now, away from that, the inquiry states women believe that the challenges confronting women folk are the responsibilities of all to be solved. The wife of the inquiry state governor, Mrs. Olufolake Abdurazak, stated this at a public lecture to mark the day. She added that social ills against women like raping, wife battery and others should be condemned by all. To empower our women on all fronts and to celebrate those who are working tirelessly to ensure that our women realize their full potential. The need to intensify on this momentum now is even more pertinent as World Economic Forum, WEF, Gender Gap Report for 2020, reveals that gender parity may not be attained for the next 99.5 years. Nigeria's debt profile continues to be a source of concern to economic watches, including international bodies such as the World Bank. But this has not deterred the federal government from borrowing more funds. Nigeria's debt has now hit 33.078 trillion naira after the Senate approved an additional loan request from the president to the tune of $22.7 billion. The International Monetary Fund and the World Bank are warning that Nigeria may be falling into a debt trap. And as a news update for this hour, uh, stay tuned for the weather. You always know that your cardiovascular exercise are very, very important. Welcome to the fitness segment with Ben Fit. This morning, today is going to be awesome because I'm going to pump your heart out very pumping. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Are you good to go? It's cardio exercises today. Don't, don't go anywhere. It's going to be interesting. I'm clapping for you because I know you can do it. Are you ready? Foot fire. Take your time. Take your time. Keep pumping. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Foot fire. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Relax it. Relax it. Are you ready? I want you to repeat that exercise again. Two hands this way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> That's good, relax it. Number two exercise, foot fire and burpees. Whoa, 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 whoa. Master exercise. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, go. One, two, three, down, go. Ha. One, two, three, four, go. Come on. Boom. Yes. One, two, three, four, go. Yes. Go, go, go. One. Two, three, four, woo, ha, one, two, three, and relax it. Whoa, yes. If you're following these exercises, you should know that it's not easy. I'm sure by now your heart rate will be pumping. I want to regulate it. Stay calm, stay calm. Number two exercises. Oh, number three. Thank you for that. Number three, stomach truck. You go. You see? Yeah, yeah, that's the exercise, the basics, and if you can do the advanced, come on, let's do this. You see that? Are you ready? Ready? Because it's cardio! Five, four, three, two, go! Come on, come on, keep pumping, keep pumping! Each exercise lasts for 40 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Don't stop, don't stop! Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax it. That's good. You rest for 20 seconds. You can see the way I'm breathing hard. It's not because the weather is hot. It's because I'm working out. Yes. Are you ready? Ready? Number four. Number four. The almighty jumping jacks. You know what jumping jack is? But take your time. I'm giving you another variation today. Here you go. One. Two, one, and two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, and two. Come on, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one. Let's go. One, two, one, 
Two more. One, two, one. One more. One, two, one, and take your time. Yes. The last exercise is going to be star jump. If you love star, let me see your hands up. Yeah. I'm a super star. Are you ready? Take your time. Squat position and hop. See? Squat position and hop. Squat position, up. 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 Squat position, one more to go. Squat position and relax it. Awesome, awesome. I'm sure by now, if you follow these exercises, your heart rate will be up. I want you to regulate it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Just one more to go. Inhale and exhale. I promise you one thing good health. Follow this exercise. It's still your number one breakfast show. Don't go anywhere. Wake up, Nigeria continues. You know, all that uh, inhaling and exhaling, it just makes you think of yoga, you know, when you're trying to get your asana into link. But, well, it's time for us to link up with something more tasty, delicious, great way to start the week. Kotsi, I don't even know whether I'll call you chef or bekaye tunde. So, <laughs> chef bekaye tunde. <laughs> Boots. Yeah, so she's making breakfast for us this morning. Uh, muffins, I believe. Yes, okay, velvet so. muffins. Velvet muffins. Mmm, okay. Uh, let's talk about the ingredients. What are we making use of? Okay, we are making use of the flour, okay. the cake flour. Okay. Sugar. Uh, how, how many grams is this? Yeah, I have 350 grams here. Okay, okay. This is my milk. That's 225 meals. Okay. My sugar is also 350 grams. Okay. I have my baking powder and my baking soda. This okay. is my cocoa powder. Okay. I have my red color and okay. the oil. This is a, no, a low cholesterol oil. Okay. I have my hex here. Okay. And the mint leaves are for garnishing. Okay. Okay. Then Let's my flavor. Okay. So you're making use of dark vanilla. This uh, bicarbonate of soda, right? Yes, baking okay. soda. Okay, what is this? This is the good foil. It's just for garnishing also. Okay, okay. So I'm seeing um, cocoa powder and red velvet uh, powder. Yes. Uh, when you say velvet, does it also mean cocoa velvet cakes? I've never heard that one before. No, <laughs> the cocoa powder gives it its flavor, like a distinct flavor. Okay. When you make it without the cocoa powder, you will notice that the, the taste will be different. Okay. So the cocoa powder gives it a rich taste. You have that cocoa taste. taste while yes. this just gives it the color. The color, yes. So everyone who says, I don't like chocolate cake. I love red velvet. They're actually eating chocolate, but they don't know. Mm, not really. Secret chocolate old. cake has other ingredients. There is just like, cocoa powder inside. Yeah, but more of cocoa powder than the red velvet. All I velvet. can say is, if you eat red velvet cakes, you're already eating chocolate cake. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Okay, so let's get started. What's the first thing we're doing? Okay. I've sieved my flour here. Okay. I have um, salt, a little bit of salt. I've sieved it. Okay. So I'll be adding, first I'll be adding all my dry ingredients together. Okay. Then you yeah. now add the... Then I'll add my wet ingredients to separately. Okay. So after mixing, then I'll pour the dry ingredients into my wet ingredients. Okay. And I'll mix it with the mixer. mixer. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to let Chef uh, Yetunde, Bika Yetunde, Chef Bika Yetunde, start off <laughs> for us uh let her get the process started because we need to take this break okay uh, stay with us as wake up nigeria we have more for you Thank you very much. Uh, second performance for today, and it's by Ruda, a Nigeria singer, songwriter, and Afro vibe artist who started making music when he was 16 years old. That's after graduating from high school. He has heavy music influence by the likes of Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, Wizkid, and Tu Baba. Yeah, so those are uh, his music influences. Now, uh, Afro, Afro vibe. I've heard Afro pop. I've heard so many genre of music. Yeah. Which one is Afro vibe again? Um, it's just sim it just simply means I can vibe on anything. Okay. Be reggae, R and B, pop, just with a touch of Afro. 
Aha. So that's Aha. how it is. Okay, so what are you performing this morning? Um, the title of the song is Angelina. Angelina. Yeah. Uh, what what uh, genre of music is it? I know you said Afrobeat, yeah, yeah. so but is it the, reggae? No, nah, that's it's Afrobeats. It's Afrobeats. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So. Okay, so your name, Runda, it's, it's, it has a very interesting sound to it. And then you think to yourself, uh, when you see it, especially with the way it's spelled, R-U-N-D-A, yeah. your first thought is Ronda. Ronda yeah. uh, but then you told me it's actually pronounced Runda. Runda. Why? Runda. Runda. Yeah, exactly. Okay, sounds like Wumba Wumba. Okay. <laughs> uh, w w w what's it from? What does it mean? I can't from my surname, Olorunda. Oh, so it's from Olorunda. Yeah. And so why don't you call it Runda? No, 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 it's not sexy that way. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So you've been doing music for about five years now, yeah, professionally yes. for four, four years. years. Yeah. Uh, what has the experience been like for you? Man, it has been tough, actually. Like, music in Nigeria is not easy. Mm. You have to fight your way to the top. So I'm still fighting. Fighting your way to the top. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So how do you finance your music? People say... Music in Nigeria is very expensive. Well, all over the world, really. Yeah, uh, but yeah. how do you finance it? Currently, I'm signed to a record label. Okay. Yeah, so they're the one financing my music. Okay, so that makes it a whole lot easier for yeah, you, yeah. right? Okay. Now, collaborations. Uh, many artists do collaborations, of course, uh, to also further enhance their craft. Uh, do you have any done already or in the works? No, no, I don't have any yet, okay. but I have plans. Okay, you have plans. Yeah. Who do you have in mind? Me or Kong. May, you didn't even hesitate. Why Mayokun? The way you said it, like almost like dream come true, kind of. Why, why Mayokun? He's actually my favorite artist. In oh, he's your favorite Nigerian yeah. artist. Ah, so and who's your favorite him. foreign artist then? Post Malone. Post Malone. Aha. Uh -huh. I can imagine the kind of sounds and vibes you're going to get from Ronda today. Okay, so I'm going to let you perform. All right. All right. So you take it away. All right, thank you. Sabrina, I love me, I won't give you so. Why you gonna be selfish? Oh? I don't even know. Eh? What thing I go do to make you happy? Now, one of the things we do on Mondays is to try and bring you uh, different companies, SMEs, all around the city of Lagos and what they're doing, how they're providing employment. And today we have Annie Chukweb Ani Chukwebuka, uh, the great the CEO of Great Aluminium Systems Limited. And it was established as a building material company. It focuses on the importation, exportation, and selling of housing and building materials. We also have here with him Ubuagu Stanley, the project manager of the same company as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's Thank a pleasure. You, now, uh, Great Aluminium started eight years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And uh, so tell us the story. So you, you were working for, for, uh, for someone who was your former boss, and then you, know, you were trained by him, and then you started your own company as well. So yeah. actually, I started from my boss, mm. Latest Aluminium. Okay. So after the settlement, I started like a slow worker who refused to Look backwards. Look backwards. <laughs> because he, who, he stayed yeah. fair. Mm, so by his grace, I'm able to have my own company, mm. Great Aluminium System, Nigeria Limited. Mm. So, so um, th this company, I mean, you, we talked about it a little bit before. You import aluminum sheets and then you, you process it before, before you install oh, people's yes. houses. Mm -hmm. mm. So talk to us about that process, uh, what yeah. you do. Yeah. So the the uh, the corrugation is uh, when you uh, uh, bring in uh, flat sheets mm. uh, before you use it for roofing. That should, it's a process you should go mm. uh, before taking it to the site where you want to install a, a, a building. Mm. Mm, so, so that process is is the corrugation. That's the corrugation. corrugation. Oh, so you have you have machines. We that have machines that we do use to corrugate it for customers. Mm. Mm. Okay. And of course you then have, supply and you also install yes it yes well. we also supply we have varieties of the. Aluminiums. Mm. We have the one we call test step, quality aluminium. Uh, yes. We have yeah, the one we call test of time. Step ties. Mm. Okay. We have the one we call met metcopo. Mm. We have metro ties. We also deal on accessories. Mm. So talk to us about um, the the when when you started this this business. Um, did you have money to start the business, or was it 
uh, did, did somebody maybe give you on credit? How, how was the business itself? Because I'm sure people are watching and saying, okay, if I want to go into aluminum business, um, what, what do I need to know? Yeah, actually, I started from my master after spending a few years, a couple of years with him. Mm. So after the settlement, so it is a gradual process. Mm. So once I'm able to achieve my aim, because I refuse to, I focus and I believe mm. in ability to make greatness. Mm. So when, when one of the things that a lot of young people don't understand nowadays, and people say that a lot, is that when, uh, when, they, when they want to start out in life, maybe, many young people are not patient. So they want to make money quickly. What would you, okay, what would okay. advise okay. <laughs> to, what would be your advice to such people that are young? So I try that. Mm. Okay. okay. I will advise the younger ones, always be patient to their master. Mm. Or whatever they are doing, they have to be serious. Mm. So because this life is not the way you look at it, it's how it goes. Mm. You must start from somewhere. Now, Mr. Stanley, you were talking because about... Because yeah, yeah. it's not built in a day. day. A day. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. Now, uh, Stanley, you were talking about uh, earlier on about the fact that in this business that there are lots of people who are into the business, but they sell a lot of fake products. So yeah, talk to yeah. Us about there are rivals. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in Nigeria these days, uh, a lot of fake materials. Mm. Uh, that's why some people prefer to go to the company that's reliable. You know, and to get exactly the quality materials they needed. Because mm. somewhere along the charlatans on the roadside, if you go there, you pick the fake ones. Mm. That's why. The essence of having a factory is very, very necessary. Mm. Be so because so of the government, they will come and inspect that to a factory mm. and uh, determine the quality of the products we are bringing in. Mm. Uh, that's why we are standing the test of time. We, uh, we are uh, uh, dynamic in uh, every of our approach mm. among our contemporaries. Yeah. Now, Mr. So Chukobukan, you have, you have a number of staff, of course, at your factory right now. When somebody wants to come and work for you as a young person, uh, in the organization, what are the, the, the qualities that you look out for? So if I came to you now this mon Monday morning and I say, okay, I want to come and work for you, what are the things that will be most important to you that you see in me that will make you say, I'm going to hire you? So actually, before we employ any staff in, our, in my company, mm. the person will go for an interview. So uh, if the person passes the interview, the person will submit his or her CV. Mm. So before, if we can know if the person is qualified to work with us. Mm. So before, so after the submission of CV, then you, would you train the person? What, what, what are the things? Mm. Uh, um, please, the person will come will as an apprentice mm. uh, because uh, usually we don't just bring in people like that. We bring from home. Okay. Uh, people we train in the trade. Mm. But if you are coming, maybe to work for us, it depends on as the a position. Salary, Anna. Mm. That one is the, the salary, somebody will place you on salary. Mm. So that's the thing. Okay, so otherwise it will be a training process. It will be and a training process as a practice. At the end of the tenure, you'll be settled. Mm. Just the usual uh, Igbo the, system the, of the usual Igbo system, which is, which, is a, which is a process that yeah, ensures that yes, yes. you become an employer of labor. Just like he did, you mm. know, with the, with the, after the services, he rendered with the master, he was mm. settled mm. because of obedience and transparency. Which is, which is really, really important. Which is the word to trade like yeah. this. Mm. So you, you, for, for people who sometimes, because I was talking about you know, um, young people being impatient and wanting to just go out there. Yeah, and do their people things. always want to make it on the fast lane. That is why the tendency of evil everywhere, people involved in rubbish things in mm. our society now. Uh, you know, they don't want the yahoo, yahoo, and all the stuff like that. It's everywhere because they wouldn't want to endure to mm. serve. And mm. if you endure to serve, you achieve. Mm. That is it. But uh, if you don't, because a house, uh, block by block, a house is made. Mm. But if you want to start it from the top, it's not possible. Mm. You know, because a journey of a thousand miles starts That's with right. a step. And a step by step, mm. you get to the top. I like that. I, and I like this conversation that we're having uh, about, about this. And you're talking to people who uh, want to make it in life, yeah. uh, as it were. Now, one of the, one of the challenges of, of the industry, whether it's the building industry and all yeah. of that, is that a lot of people complain that um, 
sometimes prices uh, fluctuate. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's expensive, sometimes it's cheap. So how do you manage yourself in this kind of thing when maybe I'm a builder and I bought from you uh, at a cheaper rate two okay. weeks ago, suddenly I'm coming back today, you're telling me it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. what, what are the things that make, make uh, some of the thing, these things expensive? Uh, the, the situation is a Nigerian problem now, especially now there's a problem in where we bring in our goods. Mm. So you can't expect me the goods that have been in the stock there. You know, uh, after finishing it, I want to bring in another one. Mm. And the price is hack. So they, um, I, I must. That's a little bit addition uh, of the... So I, there must be an addition, but mm. not much. Price. Uh, before then, we inform price. our customers that there's a that change. Is, that is a change. Uh, change yes. in price. Yes. Mm. So the, the, the machines that you use for your corrugation mm. at, at the factory, uh, center because I, I also want to talk about like maybe when government is regulating some of these things mm. you, you told, talked about people coming to inspect they will come. Uh, and all of that that is why I tell you of quality mm. because you cannot affluent an organization like that if the product we are bringing is not of standard mm. and that is the essence of uh, a standard organization coming in to checkmate what we are doing yeah, but even with all this organization, it seems like as if there's still a lot of fake products out there. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. What, what would be your recommendation to, say, governments and all these standard organizations of Nigeria? Mm, one thing uh, I should uh, say is a, it's a conscience, a thing of conscience to me who is a, a dealer there. Mm. And government should not, uh, you know, uh, a lot of lobbying anyway. Mm. Uh, they'll come in and they'll tell you, there are those who will come in, uh, you know, get something from the back mm. and allow it to be like that. Mm. So that is it. Well, thank you so much, uh, <coughs> Mr. Chukwe Bukahani and also Mr. Stanley oh, yeah. uh, joining us this morning from Great Aluminium. Thank you for the work that you're doing and also for providing employment to young Nigerians. Thank you. And hopefully people have learned one or two things about your own story. Yeah. Uh, now we're heading to the kitchen where Mary uh, is doing some work. Hey, guys. Thank you so much, Yomi. All right, so a lot of work has been going on in the kitchen right here, and uh, Chef Yetunde is uh, just about ready to put the cake in the oven. But first, we cannot just take the pan and put it in. We're gonna be placing it in the cups, okay? So muffins for breakfast, that's what we're having, and here we go. Run us through the process of what you've done so far as so you're putting the okay. butter in. Like I said earlier, mm -hmm. I mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients together. Mm -hmm. So That's how we came yeah, about this. So velvet muffins, that's what we're having uh, this morning. We'll take a look at the menu on our screen shortly uh, while we put this in. A lot of wrapping. Folding in most cases. Yes. Okay. All right. So... Let's check out the menu, uh, the ingredients rather, uh, talking about what we're making use of for our moist red velvet cupcakes topped with fresh strawberry and mint leaves. Quite a mouthful, don't you think? Uh, we're making use of milk, sugar, cake flour, mint leaves, baking powder, oil, eggs, baking soda, cocoa powder, as well as red velvet powder. Color. Oh my goodness. I would have thought this would make it really rise. Yeah, it's wood. It's wood, okay. Ah, I'm not selling these cakes uh, 500. Oh. <laughs> Anyone who wants to buy 1,000 naira, because these ones are going to be really large. Oh boy, this looks good already, yummy. If you're fond of uh, eating butter, of course, uh, I'm sure you're used to the stomach ache by now you will enjoy eating this one. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Okay, let, let me turn it this way for you. Cute. There you go. Okay. Nice. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this one is for Yummy. <laughs> He's gonna have it with his coffee. I haven't seen him take coffee this morning. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Looks like that one will be for Titi. It's full like she is. <sighs> nice. Okay. Isn't that one a little too little? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we'll give Titi that one. Mm. Yeah. Especially made. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. 
Yeah. Okay, that one will go to Halima. Uh, okay, let's see the one we'll give. I'm, I'm suspecting this will go to Zainab. I don't think Olamide is going to have any of this this morning. I don't think we'll have enough for him. Okay, so uh, if you are an apostle on Wake Up Nigeria, we have 12 for you. Yeah, so everyone gets a bite of the cake this morning. I really can't wait for these muffins to bake. We're going to stick them in the oven right now, of course. Just take a look at this. Oh, they're gorgeous. Don't you just want to pick them up and start eating them? Except you'd end up with a tummy ache right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to stick this in the oven. Allow it to bake for about 15 minutes, right? Yeah. yeah, and of course, at the end of the show, we'll probably whip some cream on it if it will not melt. <laughs> it <won't. laughs> Two hours gone by on the show this morning. 45 minutes left to go. Stay with us. We need to take this break. Well, it's the final 45 minutes of your number one breakfast show. Yeah. And it's been a blast so far. Yeah, really so far so good. Mm -hmm. There's still quite a lot in store for you in the third hour. And uh, well, hey, it's the final hour of the show for today. Not to worry, we're here for you. My name is Tisi Lai Oinsa. And I'm Yomi Wopena. All you have to do not to miss out on the show is 8 o'clock already, so you probably uh, will need to leave the house if you are doing eventually. so today, eventually. Mm. Uh, Check us out online right now, tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Send in those comments as soon as you can. We'd love to hear from you. Can't wait to see your messages. And we will as long as you use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Now, if you haven't yet, uh, you can download our app so you can watch us live anywhere you are in the world. So we still have the auto segment coming your way. Mm. Ayo Shofela is back. Automedics is in the building. She'll be sharing with us different grades of engine oil and the right recommendation for your vehicle. And for spoken word performance today, we have actor and poet Akimboro Alatejo, also known as Jew, on the show today. For the right Monday motivation to help you kickstart your week, we have Tunji Babajide. We're talking decision determines destiny. There's a lot of points to take out of that statement. Mm -hmm. And we'll be discussing that in a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, uh, I wanted yes, to. Yeah, yeah. What was all the describing? You're describing this cake and comparing what? your me and myself. Yeah, what, myself. You guys, what, you guys, what was all that? We are baking muffins. Oh, yeah. Oh, baking um, muffins. Innocent no right. sense, me. Wow. Yeah. Really? What you now begins? said that this muffin is full, like, titi, really? Are you not? Merim. Titi, titi <laughs> just wanted us to show that she's full. Okay, please, wow. can you please really? focus the camera really? on her beautiful, full self? Wow. Let's hear what. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, the cake looks good, though, I have it to does, say. It uh, does, it does. The, the chef is already. a new chef. And you know how it is when we have new chefs on the show. They're always very generous and, you know, very <laughs> colorful. Look at them. Look yeah? at them. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys. What? So um, just a quick update on the on the coronavirus thing. Mm. Uh, very important. People shouldn't forget that, oh, okay, I haven't gotten the disease yet. And then they forget all the things that uh, they're supposed to have learned over, over the past two weeks or so. Uh, keep washing your hands. Make sure that you... Uh, you do it every few, maybe every hour or so, mm -hmm. just to make sure that if you have contacted any surfaces, your hands are, are washed. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. even if you don't have sanitizers, which I hear are very expensive now, mm. just wash your hands with soap and you're fine. Yeah. So and uh, if you don't uh, mind as consistently as possible. Smelling of alcohol, it's still yeah. the same thing. Yeah, mm. the, well, the idea is the alcohol. Even when you're the getting alcohol sanitizers, based sanitizers, yes, people yeah. forget that is the alcohol-based sanitizers that actually count, not just necessarily the the regular ones. Okay, let me just quickly so, run through this. Uh, just uh, as she's trying to get her yeah. cake there, you know, there's a there's, there's something about 
us, we, we touch our faces a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. It could be moving your hair back, it could be just scratching your chin, or it could just be doing fine boy or fine girl, you know? Yeah. But try avoiding touching your face mm -hmm. because they say that's the quickest way for it to, you know, um, get into the system. Even the common yeah. cold, it's, yeah. uh, common cold. Uh, it's yeah. from touching a surface and yeah. then touching your yeah. face. Yeah. After yeah. That, yeah. So, so your nose, your mouth, your ears, even your eyes, mm -hmm. you could Get all the, very uh, careful. Or, yeah. All the orifices. I just wanted to face. run through stuff happening today. Mm. It's panic day. Oh. Get over it day. <laughs> That's for those whose hearts have been broken. Get Get over it. <laughs> Uh, today is false teeth day. Now, this is something I've always wanted to really try. Not with the, you know, the crab itself, but like just the meat. Oh. Crab meat day. That's crab today. meat? Yes. You I'm know, a big fan of crab though. Mm. I like crab, crab is very tasty, but yeah. apparently crab meat is such that they've already removed all the meat. So you but just dig just into the, the deliciousness without the stress. It's, so it is quite stressful, you know. So um, I can still remember, you know, my, my, my dad is, such a fan of crab meat so whenever he used to come back from work he would always stop by the market and just buy crab then now take you home for us to now do the, the, <laughs> the <messy. work. laughs> so the the actually getting into crab is mm. crazy it's like a lot of work but i grew up liking it mm. uh, but crab meat in cans is also one of the most expensive mm. that you can find yeah so uh, it's something yeah, yeah it's, but it's, it's very day. tasty though two mm. more things going on it's barbie day and meatball day and i'm oh, wow. definitely having myself some meat you look like today. a barbie we have to go <laughs> i what uh, you always to, have looked like we have a to go to the news uh, <laughs> updates now with uh, <laughs> with Ibrahim right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, welcome to the news. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control says 22 suspected cases of coronavirus identified in Edo, Lagos, Ogun, Kano State, and Abuja have tested negative. This is according to a tweet from the verified handle of the control center. The director general of the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, Chikwe Ihekwazu, said a total of 20, 219 uh, contacts were identified including those from hotel, workplace and healthcare workers. It said there is no new confirmed case of the virus. Dr. Ihekwazu said, stated that field investigations are ongoing and all contacts are undergoing daily symptom monitoring. The Director General insists the first confirmed case is in stable condition. Meanwhile, Egypt has confirmed its first death from the coronavirus in the country after a German citizen died on Sunday. Cairo had previously announced that coronavirus had been detected and 33 people on a tourist ship in the country's south, including three Egyptian nationals. The global death toll is nearly 3,500 and over 100,000 confirmed cases. That's according to the World Health Organization. Italy has recorded the most deaths of any country outside, outside China and the second most COVID-19 infections in the world. The majority of the deaths were in the Lombardy region in northern Italy. Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, has visited President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja. The visit comes in uh, nine days after Lagos recorded its first case of coronavirus involving an Italian who returned from Milan on 25th of February. The governor briefed President Buhari on efforts made by his administration to prevent an outbreak in the state. According to the Commissioner of Health in Lagos, Akia Bayomi, the government is yet to get the total number of those who had come in contact with the Italian patient as the figures are still being collated. An inquiry state women believe that the challenges confronting women folk are the responsibilities of all to be solved. The wife of the Kwara state governor, Ms. Olufolake Abdurazak, stated these at a public lecture to mark the day. She added that social ills against women like raping, wife battery and others should be condemned by all. To empower our women on all fronts, and to celebrate those who are working tirelessly to ensure that our women realize their full potential. The need to intensify on this momentum now is even more pertinent as World Economic Forum, WEF, Gender Gap Report for 2020, reveals that gender parity may not be attained for the next 99.5 years. Nigeria's debt profile continues to be a source of concern to economic watchers, including international bodies such as the World Bank. But this has not deterred the federal government from borrowing more funds. Nigeria's debt has now hit 33.078 trillion naira after the Senate 
approved an additional loan request from the president to the tune of $22.7 billion. The International Monetary Fund and the World Bank are warning that Nigeria may be falling into a debt trap. President Buhari has congratulated the Vice President Professor Yemir Shimbaji as he celebrates his 63rd birthday anniversary. In a, a telephone call to Professor Yemir Shimbaji, the President commend him for his loyalty and dedication to the administration. President Buhari notes that the intellectual capacity of Vice President has impacted positively on the overall accomplishments of the federal government, most notably in the economic and social intervention programs. He also prayed Almighty God to endow the Vice President with greater wisdom, a long life to continue to serve the nation and humanity. And that's it on the news on Wake Up Nigeria today. Sports is next. Well, here we are uh, in the outdoors trying to uh, look at the things that we need to know. And I've got uh, Ayo Shofala here of Automedics that we're going to be talking about engine oil specifications that you could use uh, for different cars. Thank you so much, Ayo, for joining us today. Now, um, engine oil is a big deal mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for many cars. Uh, but a lot of times people don't know the specifications that they need to use exactly. uh, for their cars. So can you just take us through a few of those specs? Let's start talking about them. Okay, so first things first, um, we can never overemphasize the issue of engine oil on cars. Mm. It's like blood that's flowing through the human body. And lately I've been seeing a lot of cars that are being abused yeah. when it comes to engine oil and servicing. So I just made it a point to talk about that this yeah. morning. Before we talk about the engine oil itself, mm -hmm. uh, Let's talk about engine oil abuse because that, that's something that uh, a lot of people also don't understand. So talk to us about what you mean by seeing cars that have been abused in the area of, of engine oil. Okay. When I t um, say abuse, what I mean is you're not using the right specification. Okay, you go ahead and even go to use the right specification, but then you leave the engine oil for far too long in the engine. Mm. Some people don't even go as far as changing their oil filter. When they change the engine oil, they'll tell you, no, 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 it's an original filter, so they'll just wash it and put it back in again. Sometimes they'll just, some people top, top their engine exactly. oil uh, for months. Months. Without, without I, I've changing. seen someone who has gone as long as eight months, and after that, at some point, the oil is start, going to start going down, and then they just check the dipstick is yeah. low top it up yeah. and keep driving around like that. So that's what I mean by you've abused your car mm. in the aspect of engine oil. Wow. So um, so what your recommendation would then be is uh, to change it? Regularly. Regularly. Regularly is going to be either 4,000 kilometers, every 4,000 kilometers, mm -hmm. or every 2,500 miles, right. or every three months. Every three months. Whichever so one comes first. Whichever comes first. Yeah. So typically, when you change your oil, you should also change your oil, oil filter, filter. Which many very, people don't do because all they want to do is, oh, my oil is low. Uh, top, top me up very quickly, let me get or back Or you road. find a case where they take it to a mechanic and the mechanics also have their own faults there yeah. where they probably cannot get that filter immediately and instead of telling the owner, oh I can't get this filter, let me go and look for it. They right. just tell the owner, okay I'll do it for you, clean it, put it back in, mm. that is totally wrong. Yeah, so and that could reduce... Uh, that could damage the engine. Wow. Okay, so talk to us about um, different kinds of engine oil and then we'll probably come back to this issue of ensuring that you maintain your engine as long as possible using the uh, changing your oil regularly. regularly. Yeah. Okay, so there are about five, six, seven different kinds of engine oil specifications on the market. Mm. Um, here in Nigeria, I mean, abroad there are a lot more than that. Wow. And different cars carry different specifications according to the year and the manufacturer of the car. Right. We have specifications starting from things like 20W50. I know mm. a lot of people would have heard of that. It's a very, very common specification yeah, out there, 20W50 well. yeah. engine oil. You have 5W30, you have 5W20, you have 10W40 and the likes and of that. Sometimes it's just, it's just a bit confusing. So, mm -hmm. you know, you, you sometimes I just want to do an oil change, like a exactly. quick oil change with oil filter. I drive into uh, like a petrol station, right? And so they ask you what kind of oil you, you'd like. So there's one for 5,000, then there's one for 7,000, mm -hmm. then there's one for like 15,000. Yeah. So typically you just go for maybe the cheapest Cheap or the one, one that yeah. is in the middle. <laughs> maybe the one that is 7K so that mm -hmm. you can have a good balance. But how important is it that you know the one that is for your car? It's very, very important. Let's 
put the issue of money aside or the yeah. issue of price aside, it is very, very important for you to know what is recommended for your car. Mm. Some cars will not carry the specification. I've seen a lot of cars, especially the Asian cars, mm. who will not carry the specification. But if you do a Google search, you would actually find what is recommended for, for that for that particular exactly. car. So maybe if you drive drive like a Kia or a Hyundai, they Some might not. Some Toyotas don't carry. It. They, they might not reflect exactly. the specific one that you should use. Now this is where it's supposed to be, on the oil filler cap. Yeah. Just like I said, some Asian cars will not carry this. Mm. You can see there is nothing written. So here. typically it will be written here. Exactly. What kind of specification the oil for the car would be? Exactly. Okay. So you would have something like an SAE 5W30, 5W20, mm. 5W40 and the likes of it. And when you check and you don't see it here, you, you can Google go to it. the owner's manual. Okay, the owner's manual will show you what what kind of oil you. you should use. Or you do a Google search. So what happens when you don't use the specified oil for the car? It's either you're using something that's too light or too thick hmm. when you don't use the right specification. So too light or too thick. Exactly. So what happens if it's too light? If it's too light, the oil is going to burn out, hmm. which means burn it's going quickly. to become short under a very short, um, time. short period of time. Uh, on the other hand, if you use something that's that too, too thick, thick right. it's going to have difficulty flowing around the engine. Hmm. So for, for those that use, for cars that use thick oil, is it that they have bigger engines or what's the reason why you have thicker oils and lighter oils? For older engines, the space between moving parts is a lot wider. So hmm. you need an oil that's very, very thick hmm. to create a cushion in between right. those moving parts that will prevent wear and tear. Hmm. But on newer engines, we have what we call precision engines. You have very small spaces between moving parts. So you need, so you need a very light oil. An oil that's thick hmm. will not be able to lubricate those parts very well. So right. you find that if you use a thick oil on a newer model car, after about maybe worst case scenario a year, you start having engine issues. Wow. Sludge will start building up. You have noise coming because from it's different, too thick and exactly, it's not moving it as, as move it should. As fast as it should around the engine. Mm. You even find that there's some cases where you start the engine in the morning and then you have a lot of rattling sounds for the first five minutes. Yeah. Before. And then even sometimes you, you notice smoke and, and things exactly. like that coming out of the exhaust. Wow, this, these are some really, really important uh, pieces of information that you're giving us this morning. And I know that people watching are saying to themselves that uh, they probably will be paying a, a little bit more attention. Exactly. And one, one important thing, ask questions. You know, you can ask the mechanic. I, I remember that my mechanic said, said to me one time that, uh, because I'd been used to a certain kind of oil and he was mm -hmm. saying that, no, that's not the oil for this car. You know, so ask questions, make sure that you know and find out from the cap or the usual manual what kind of oil you should use. Thank you so much, Aya, for giving us this information. Uh, well, here's to longer lasting engines for the year 2020 as we head back uh, to the studio uh, to, uh, for another performance. Now, after enjoying two performances today, of course, it's only fair that uh, we have our spoken word performance for this week to get us started. Uh, in case you don't know, spoken word is a poetic performance art that is word-based and Akimboro or Lateju, popularly known as Joe, an actor, a poet, singer and spoken word artist, is here today to give us some of his electric words. Yeah, so what are you performing for us this morning? Uh, the name of the piece is R.I.P. What? <laughs> R.I.P. What is it about? Okay, it talks about, um, I wrote this in 2017, it talks okay. about the clashes in Nigeria and how um, people shouldn't really take sides, mm. but should engage the culture, like ask questions, why is this happening and what can we do to make things better? Okay, so, so I'm going to pretend that that R.I.P. means um, rip, <coughs> and so I'm going to rip out of here and let you do your thing. Thank you. So, R.I.P. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Rewind it, please. R.I.P. Rewind it, please, so all these people can rest in peace. This piece is dedicated to the victims of casualties, calamities, the victims otherwise known for stray bullets, as some Nigerians like to call it spray bullet, because I can't help but... but, but but stutter as blood spills like butter in this land where mischievous, scrupulous, corrupt politicians strive in this land where we make our daily bread. You see, this hurt I feel is more than a headache. So for these sick people, will someone please 
called the medic, you see fear. Fear paralyzes the physiotherapist and the neurologist. The heartbeat of the cardiologist stops only to, to beat again at the mention of a passing on of a soul or ten dollar, please. Tell the people that your roads are not safe, that they will swallow people whole and spit out their bones and only the dead can relate. So when I say RIP, I don't just mean rest in peace. I mean, rewind it, please, so all these people can rest in peace. Now, for those picking sides like beans, one eye is shut to the fact that it's just a wave to you. I mean, the rise and falls like play twos in a country where AKs are more than the initials of a name. 47 times the living, the night workers come back and reclaim. And I wonder, and I wonder if we don't know that history is repeating itself again and again. But not to mention any names. Biafra War. And yes, I know you heard about the herdsmen. Yes, I heard men. I wonder if they don't know that they're being played like a pawn in a chess game. Maybe they would refrain. Maybe they wouldn't yell, check me, check me, check me. Maybe they would use their brain and maybe they would think about this again and again and again. But for these lost veterans, I say my RIP, rewind it please, so all of them can rest in peace. Thank you. Hello and good morning. Now it's time for us to take a look at our motivation for the day. We have Mr. Tunji Babajide here. He's a UK certified life coach and lead consultant who likes to help people of all ages live happier, healthier, and of course, more productive lives. Today, he's here with us to talk about decisions and how decision determines destiny. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to be here. How are all you today? Right. So I'm, I'm a big fan of being spontaneous, you know, <laughs> uh, making moves that, you know what, this just feels right, I'm going to do this now. Um, yeah. And a lot of people have lived their lives like that and, you know, it's not been that bad. Why damage a winning formula, so to speak? <laughs> but well, what you're saying here yeah. could be that uh, those decisions are likely so, derailing. So, so yeah, so mm. we have to put decisions... Um, on two perspectives. Um, so there are decisions that are in your circle of control. Okay. The decisions are in your circle of concern. Uh, the decisions in your circle of your control include what time should I wake up? Um, should I read a book? Okay. Should I be pleasant at work? Should I um, display emotional intelligence? Mm. Should I display soft skills? That's in your constant control. Okay. However, the things that are in your circle of concern. Uh, for example, if they don't promote you at work, how do you respond to that? Mm. Uh, maybe you lose your father early. I mean, life happens mm. to everyone. Mm. Uh, but the most important thing is for you to be able to put that in perspective and now be able to sit down to reflect on the decisions you had made prior to that time yeah. and make better decisions. Because where you are today, I, some total of decisions you made yesterday. Where you will be tomorrow will also be part of the things that will happen to you uh, tomorrow. So they say that the future is not where you're going. The future is what you create. Um, so, and as decisions are largely uh, made from a subconscious mind, and our subconscious mind is run by our beliefs and our values. Mm. Um, so sometimes when you do certain things, it's not because you just want to do it, it's because your decision is in alignment with your values. Um, and that's why you find that sometimes people set goals um, yeah. and realize that the goals are not achieved. And one of the reasons why they're not achieved is because their values don't align with their beliefs. Okay, so there are a lot of words flying around here. That okay. You've said values, you've yeah. said destiny, you've said beliefs. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are just taking every day as it comes. Yeah. Uh, for instance, I decided to wear a, a long sleeve top today, you know, because yeah. I, I, I decided to cover my... Are you saying that that decision could have some effect in what I'm doing tomorrow or, or something like that? You know, there's so many different types of decisions we're okay. talking about. So um, you decided to wear this today yes. for several reasons. Mm. Um, some of them you're not even conscious about it. Okay. So our subconscious detect what the conscious mind does. Um, so probably you are not even sure why you picked a brown or you picked a black okay. or something. Mm. But the reality is that every decision we make is to meet a need. Mm. The need you had was to look good. Okay. So the way you felt was, when well, I have a brown top somewhere, I have yeah. a black skirt somewhere. Yeah. 
looks like it would look good on me today. So you wore it and um, you decided to come to the studio. So a lot of people need to understand the root of decision making is locked up in the subconscious mm -hmm. mind and decisions are to meet needs. I want to talk a little bit, a little bit about um, the young people. So okay. you're a parent, for instance, and you have young people in your environment. Maybe you've decided as a parent that this child must go to university. Okay. Right? Yeah. And somewhere along the line, this child says, you know what, I don't think university is for me. <laughs> right? Um, you know, th as you said, decision determines destiny. Yeah. Um, do you then take it upon yourself to make that decision on behalf of that child? That, you know what, this is your destiny. Or do you allow the child just, just go along with it? So for children, you're still the caregiver. So it's, res it's your part of your responsibility to put them on the path that will um, lead them to the desirable destiny or mm -hmm. desirable end that you um, uh, you've thought about. So I like to say to people that um, you were born looking like your parents, okay. you will die looking like your decisions. Oh, wow. And that's the truth. Um, so if the father or the mother decide, the parent decide that the, baby, the kid should go to university mm -hmm. and I mean, he or she refuses to go then, mm -hmm. ultimately the person will look at the decisions they have made um, at the end of the day. So it's a two-way thing. I can't decide that my, my son, actually, let's look at university in context. Yes. Um, I said, okay, go to university. There are several people that their parents even give them funds to go to university and yes. they're just roaming about the school. It's okay that you've made the decision, but you've got to have to make the corresponding action to make that decision a reality. Mm -hmm. So everyone is a product of their decisions and their choices. There are some choices choices that are, and I mean, uh, maybe forced down your truth. There's some choices that you have to intentionally comply with, you have to intentionally abide with, so that ultimately the end goal of whatever your parents want for you and that you want for yourself can become a reality. So my colleague and I, Yomi and I were talking this morning about uh, a particular decision to marry a particular person. So the person you uh, go into a long-term partnership with in terms of marriage or in terms of business opportunities yeah. uh, has the opportunity to or well, has the capacity to derail or guide you along a path you're supposed to be okay so, so what advice do you give you know to people, people who want to make yes. so making a life decision about a partner mm. maybe a life partner or business partner has to do with a whole lot of checklist okay. you have to check does your our values align mm. you have to check does our methodology of doing things our ideology of doing things does it align um, especially in the area of marriage a lot of people uh, they marry the cars, they marry the biceps, they marry the shape. Ah, um, the biceps. Yeah, <laughs> wow, nice. Okay. And bigger than all of that um, are the reasons and the values why two people need to come together because anybody not going your direction is a distraction. Um, so you've got to come to terms with having a checklist before you make a decision to ensure that you long go through all of the things that um, seemingly will help the vision, maybe the marriage or the business to do well before you can say yes to it. However, a lot of people are very myopic. They choose for now. Mm. And for me, one of the greatest exercises I've ever done uh, was an exercise done by one of my great mentors. And he said to me, he said, have you ever attended your funeral? Mm. Uh, because the only way you can be intentional about your decisions, about your choices, is when you see the end of everything. Because when we're all gone, what will be asked from us are the things that we've done, uh, whether good or bad. So a lot of times when it's my birthday, I like to attend my funeral. So I'm like 95, this is me on the table, and people are, you know, walking past and they're saying stuff about me. So I ask myself, the things people are saying about me, are, that, are, they, are they the things I'm doing now? If they're not the things I'm doing now, then I need to ask myself, let me be intentional and deliberate about my decisions. Mm. so that when I'm long gone, one day Titi will be able to say, oh, this was the thing you would when I met you, this was the thing that you did. Because that question is critical, attending your funeral and mm. seeing how the end will be before you get there. Why is it that people don't really think about their decisions? Why do you, you would think something so important should be at the front of people's minds. Mm. Uh, something as big as your destiny, where you're going, should be so important, but it doesn't seem to be. Why do you think that is? Because a lot of people don't, number one, subscribe to introspection. Okay. Number two, a lot of people are very myopic about um, their life. Then thirdly, a lot of people don't understand that 
their values are inherited. Mm. The truth be told, when husband and wife have conflict, I usually say to them, it's not the two of you that are fighting, really. It's the fact that you have inherited values and opinions from your own parents. You've mm. inherited values and opinions from your parents, and there's a conflict of values. Um, so sometimes if you want to change your decision-making model, you need to go to the root of it, which are your beliefs and your values. Okay. So when you can alter the beliefs and your values, then you can say, okay, I can make better choices. I can then begin to charge after my goal in an unstoppable manner. I like the way you put it there, you know, um, the fact that it's about where you're coming from, yeah. really, not yeah. exactly where, where you, you are, are at that point. Absolutely. I have to say a big thank you to you once Always again for joining us. Uh, I know a lot of people have opinions on this particular topic. We'd love to hear what they are. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC as soon as you can, and we'll see if we can answer some of those questions. Uh, but meanwhile, we have uh, a decision to make <laughs> to taste or not to taste the cake. <laughs> that decision <laughs> lies with you, sir. Okay, sir. I'm but I have test. a feeling the aroma in the studio is going to help make that decision on your behalf. Oh, well. Please join us in the kitchen this morning. <laughs> you put me on the spotlight last week. And yes, the same thing so you're doing again today. Yes. Yeah, how are you doing, sir? Very well, thank Please you. Please have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Yes. You're welcome. Oh, yes. So what am I testing this morning? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> muffins, actually. Okay, muffins. Uh, I, I like what you do with the, what's that thing called? Is it? Wow. Is, the yeah. whipped cream. With can, the piping bag. Can you just do that? You need do to that do that, that on air. You, so that yeah. is show everyone. Show everybody how it's done. The decadence oh, okay. of I this. I hope that's not a trade Ooh, secret. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. that. Very nice. Very nice. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Colorful. Yeah, Colourful. that's what we're talking about. Very nice, very Ooh. nice. Okay. And then so, you just sprinkle the thing on it. What the is that? Velvet. Gold shavings? What is yeah, that? Gold, gold sprinkles? Yeah. Gold leaves. Wow, gold leaves. Yeah. Ah, ah. They're heavy. eating some 24 karat gold leaves. Yeah, and it's heavy. How many calories? Uh, <laughs> per leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't think worry, you want to know. <laughs> Ooh, the leaves don't want to. Oh, goodness me. They're sticking. Uh, they sticky. are very yeah. sticky, these gold leaves. Okay. Goodness. I think me. that's good. So to you're know. eating gold. So there you go. Uh, uh, this is wow. all yours. Wow. Please wow. dig into it and give us your opinion uh, on the cake. Okay, so I have to say I'm a bit jealous of you right now. <laughs> 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 that looks so good. Yeah. Well, it just uh, looks yummy already, so Ooh. let me give it a try. Yeah, the spoon yeah. is just. So, just so the... you know, Yetunde of Yeti Bakes mm. is. Uh, our chef for today, our baker chef for today, yeah. and she's made this delicious, attractive looking treats. Yeah. yeah. Do you Expensive like it? looking yeah. treats. You've tried it, right? They're very nice. Very nice. I hope I have some to take away. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, where is that whipped cream? Sorry. I'm just... What do you want to make it of? I just want to. Um... Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah, I wanted to do that all day. So, uh, <laughs> that was about uh, 150 calories mm. that just went Gosh, down. I can't yeah. believe I saw that happen. And, uh, mm. Oh, she worked it out. She yes. worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're out start getting, um, bringing the show to a close. Thank you so much, uh, Tunji, for joining us this morning. Always uh, motivational. Uh, your speeches to us and of yes. course to our baker chef. Yes, so uh, Yates well. India of Yeti Bakes. Thank you so much for this treat. Mm, a big thank you to Homely NG for uh, the kitchen accessories on yeah. the show. And of course, a big shout out to all the guests who are on the show today and all of you who are watching today. We appreciate each and every one of you. We're back tomorrow, same time, 6 a.m. Yes, so have a great day, everyone. Yes, so have Bye. a great day. Bye. Bye. Mm.